What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Board Games Are For Everybody, where today we're going to be doing a solo playthrough of Lucidity Six-Sided Nightmare. Now, this is a game that we haven't played that much. We've done the multiplayer mode for it. I have not played the solo mode, so we're going to give it a try. I did do a quick read-through of the rules, so knowing me, we're probably going to get some of them wrong. But we're we're gonna we're gonna give it our our best shot here. We're gonna give it our best shot. So I think best thing to do is just hop right into things. Basically, the premise of the game, our goal for winning is that we're trying to get 15 power before we awake a bunch of these nightmares. There are a bunch of different rules between the two player and the single player that we'll kind of go through as we get there. Biggest thing we need to worry about is not filling up our hunt track here. If we get four hunt things, we automatically lose. If we fill up these over here, these different rows, while they do give us powers, if we fill them up, we activate one of the... We activate one of the uh, nightmares, and if we activate a nightmare that is already active, we lose the game. Uh, I believe there's another lose condition that was in the single player rules here. Let me take a look. Two player game. Uh, during the draw and select dream, step your turn. Can't return dice. Of the Awakened Nightmare's color. Matching Nightmare was already awakened. You lose the game. Yep. Uh, to win, you must either collect 15 power or after the last spook is moved to your Dreamer card, you must have at least two power for each Nightmare that has been awakened. Okay. <clears throat> so we do at least have multiple win conditions. But I think we're just going to hop right into this because I think it's the easier way to do it. So what we have to do is we need to take our little gem here, which is our uh, sleep our sleep marker. And we have to select one of these tracks right here, either choosing to go with three, four, or five dice. Depending on what we go with, we have more options. However, the more dice we have, the the more chance the more chances we have to get bad dice that we don't want. If we fill our sleep track up, we lose a bunch of our power, which is what we're trying to get. So we have to be careful about that. So to start, I think we're just going to go with a healthy four here. We're going to start in the middle. We're going to go with four. So what we need to do is we need to take four dice from our dice bag here at random. And we need to put two of them back into the bag. Is that four? That's three, four. So we have four dice and we need to place two back into the bag. Now, if we look at our reference card here, we can see that the different dice have different stats on them. Uh, yellow dice are more likely for us to roll the exhaustion things. Green dice, we are more likely to roll one power. Blue dice, we are more likely to roll the uh, the eye, which allows us to use powers on the board. And the red dice, while it does have a chance to give us two power instead of one, it also has a chance for us to have to put something onto the hunt track. So we need to be careful for that. So I think we're just going to start by putting a red and a blue back. I don't want to worry about those hunts. And the green is most likely to get us power. So we're going to put a red and a blue back into the bag. And then we are going to roll our last two remaining dice here. And we have uh, one power and one power. So we get to resolve all the dice that we got. So since these are both one, we just get to add them down to our power track here. And we get to continue on. I just have to look at our rules here quickly. I believe we only 
<clears throat> Jeez, excuse me. I believe we only... Oh, pick two each turn. Return the other. So I guess I have to put two of them onto my thing every turn, eh? Uh, top, make sure place correct. What's all the fill? Turn order, winning the game. During the draw and select stepped. Whenever you choose or are forced to rest, you must move two spooks from the bottom spook row onto your dreamer card. So that's just an additional thing, eh? Dreamer spooks called spooks. Then place above your dreamer card. There are two columns labeled spooks. Three. Uh, this is just populating. Awakening nightmare. It doesn't give us a good... Well, it says... Pick two each turn. So I guess we have to do it every single turn. When you move the bottom row of spooks to your card, move two, return the other one to the bag. So I guess that's just the Lord of the Depths power. There are three other... There are three other creatures that we could use that I guess have different powers. So I guess every turn we have to do this. So because we're moving these, they don't count as being activated. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to take one blue and we're going to take one green and we're going to add them to our board here. So this is slowly filling up our board and the last one goes in and that is the end of the first turn. And now we continue and basically we're going to keep doing this until we can either get up to 15 power or once all of these spooks are gone, we have to have at least two power for each activated nightmare now this is going to start getting tricky because we have a lot of greens eventually we might want to start well when we rest we can put an eye back but if we rest we also have to move two on but it could still be helpful could still be helpful using blues to draw and roll more dice also helpful we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes when a nightmare awakens, move its eye dream to the top spook row instead of returning it to the bag. Oh, that could be rough. I don't think we're going to do hard mode. We're just we're just going to do the regular mode. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, that's the end of the first round. So now we can either choose to start on another sleep track. So either five or three, or we can continue on our path to the middle of our sleep track and get six dice instead of three or five. Now, if we go to the end of our sleep track, we have to do a rest. It is mandatory to do if we go to the end of the sleep track, to my knowledge. So, what do we feel like doing? What do we feel like doing? I think we can go for six dice. I think that's... I think going for six dice is okay for the time being. So we need to take six. We need to add two back into the bag. Uh, that was more than six. We'll put this green one back. We need to put two back into the bag. I think we're going to roll the dice on these reds here and hope that we just don't end up with three hunts because that would be bad. Uh, maybe I should put at least one red back. But if we can get two power, that would be pretty great. I think we're going to put a red and we're going to put a yellow back. I want to try and mitigate getting those exhaustions as much as we can so that we don't lose our power. So we got an eye, an eye, an eye. Well, I know one. Well, okay, so we... Resolve stuff. We resolve power first, so we get our one power from our red. That's pretty nice. And then we have to resolve everything else. So, we can do this in any order, however we want to... However we want to do this. Should I choose to put the green first, it allows us to re-roll whatever dice we choose next. We could re-roll the red and hope that we get two power. That could be nice. We could also re-roll the blue and hope that we get one power because there's a two, a two sixth chance. So a one, a one third chance that we can get one power off that blue. 
So I think we're going to put the green down first onto the MV track here, which allows us to re-roll one dream of the next player's choice. But because we're doing solo, we re-roll our, our own choice. So the question is, do we want to re-roll the, the red or do we want to re-roll the blue? Red could potentially get us... There's a there's a a one third chance we get power. There's a one sixth chance that power is a two instead of a one. There's also a one in six chance we get a hunt. I think we're gonna re-roll the red. I think that's the way to go. So let's re-roll our red. And oh look at that, we got a two. We got the two. So we are now at five power. That's pretty nice. And then our blue. We need to put up here, draw and roll one dream. So we get to draw one random dream. It was a, another blue and we get to roll for an eyeball. So we need to place that down as well, which activates again because it was a roll. It wasn't a movement. So that activates our blue eye again. Hopefully we don't get another blue eye, a yellow, okay. For an exhaust. Okay. So we now have one exhaust, which is unfortunate. So that's going to go up here. And we now need to take another two from the spook track. We are getting pretty, pretty high. We're getting pretty high with the, with the blues. We might want to rest just to get rid of one of those. I believe that's a thing you can do. Resting. Just going to. Double check how resting works. Uh, resting, whenever you choose or are forced to rest, you must move two spooks. Yep. That's the single player. I wanted the normal game rules. Uh, exhaust, shadow row, rest, or dream again. If you are exhausted or at the end of a sleep track, you must rest. Otherwise, choose to rest or dream again. Rest. By resting, you regain some control over your dreamer. Return either one eye or all exhaust dreams to your dreamer or on your dreamer card to the bag, then end your turn. By pressing your luck, gaining further insight. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we can choose to rest to get rid of an eye, which would be nice. Right now, though, I think we just have to take the green and we have to take the yellow. We have to take the green and we have to take the yellow because the blue is going to activate the depths, which would be unfortunate for us uh, in the green. But we're now also in a tight spot with both blue and green, which is unfortunate. And we're only on turn three. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six turns to get through. We've only been through two turns and we have, uh, we already have two nightmares almost being active. So that's a little rough. So now that we've done this, do we want to push our luck and go up to eight dice? I don't know, honestly. It might be beneficial to rest to get rid of an eye. And then we'll have to take the yellow and the red. But then we also wouldn't be getting our powers up. Regardless, we're going to be taking the yellow and the red from the spooks this turn. But past that, we're in a really rough spot. We're in a pretty rough spot going upwards. So, I think we're just, we're going to, we're, we're, mm, do we risk the eight or do we go down to three maybe to try and ease off a bit? I could rest. I could rest. I think we'll take this turn to rest. We're going to rest. I guess a green or a blue. It doesn't, well, there's more greens on the board. So I guess we're going to rest a green. So that goes back into the bag. And then I have to, this goes back down to zero, I think, because we rested. 
And then I have to take two from the board. So we're going to take the red and the yellow. So we did not use this turn to gain to gain anything, but we did get a slight prevention to our board here. So now we have to choose. Do we choose to rest again? We could to get rid of the blue, but I'd have to put a blue and a green on. Oh, I'm going to have to put a blue on regardless. This is going to be tight. I think we're just going to go for a roll. We're going to go for the three. So we're going to take three dice and we're going to put two back. So we're only going to be rolling one die this turn. We've got a red and two yellows. I think I want to try and push my luck with that red. I think it's a good way to go. If we do get a red eye, we can move one of the blues over to the hunt track. So I think we're going to keep the red. Hopefully we don't get a hunt because that would be unfortunate. Basically, I'll take anything on here. Maybe with the exception of exhaust. I don't really want the exhaust either. But I have a two-thirds chance of getting something beneficial. I can't see that. What is it? An exhaust. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so, well, I guess we're going with the exhaust. I have to remember how exhaust works when it gets full. I know that I lose... I know that I lose power based on exhaust. Oh, right. If my exhaust goes all the way, I draw a random dice from the bag. And whatever color it is, that's the color of power that I lose. So we need to be careful going forward here. Uh, oh, I don't have much of a choice here. We're about to activate blue, which is unfortunate. It means we aren't going to be able to put blue back. But I guess we're taking green and we're taking blue. Okay, so this goes back into the bag. First time we have to actually do our check for filled rows check because we now have a filled row. So these are all going back into the bag. And the depth has been activated, so he's just going to come up here on top of the Lords of the Depths. We can no longer return blue dice to the bag from our draws. And if we activate blue again, then we lose. That's pretty rough. So we're going to push with a five here. We're going to go with five dice this turn. We are... Are we not focused properly? That was odd. Well, hopefully the entire video hasn't been unfocused. That would be unfortunate. Pretty sure it was at one, I thought, but I guess not. Well, hopefully, hopefully it wasn't all unfocused. That would suck. That would be quite unfortunate if the entire video was unfocused. 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 So we got five dice. Do we push with those reds? Do we try and get more power? If we can get through four more turns, if we can get through four more turns, then we just need two power on each activated thing, which currently is just the depths. I definitely see Envy also getting activated though. So we're going to need at least two green and two blue at least by the end of the game. And probably two yellow as well. Rolling these dice is going to be rough. I'm definitely keeping the blue because we only have a one-sixth chance of getting an exhaust. And I guess I'm keeping the reds and just hoping not to get hunts. So we're getting rid of both these yellows since they are the ones more prominently focused on exhaust so i guess we know well i couldn't get rid of the blue anyway since the depths nightmare of the depths is activated oops we roll this guy we did get a hunt that's unfortunate two hunts that's unfortunate so hunts always go first we didn't get any power i could re-roll one of these by spending power but I have to spend red power, which I don't really want to do because I'd have to get rid of a two. So we now have two hunts 
and we have a blue to activate. So we're going to have to draw a dice at random and roll it. A green. Not an eye, please. Out of the thing. Ah, it's an eye. Okay. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't have mattered either way. I would have done the exhaust or I would have done the eye. So we don't get anything for this because we don't have any more dice in the pool, unfortunately. So now that we've done that, we have our full row of green. So the Envy is now also active. Do I get the powers of the, the nightmares still when they're active? Is that a thing? I don't think I do. That would be nice. I don't turn into a nightmare, unfortunately, so I don't get those. So these guys go back into the bag. The Envy is also now active. So we have two guys left unactive, Imprisonment and Primal Fear. We need to take two dice. I guess we're going to take the yellow and the blue. I don't want to take two yellows. This goes back into the bag. We need to get through three more turns, and I need two, at least two green dice. So we are going to... Huh. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. I'm going to take the time. I'm going to take this turn to rest instead of pushing our luck with dice to get rid of our two exhaust because I don't want those to pop up. Not that I think that we're going to be winning with power anyway. I think we're going to be getting to the end of the spook track here. And we're going to be taking the two greens. This is going to be really rough. <laughs> this is going to be really rough. Oh, no. We're going to take the two greens. This blue is going to go back. Was that the right way to do it? No, I think I need to take a blue and a green. I think a blue and a green was the way to go. I'm going to take that blue back. We're going to take a blue and a green instead of a instead of two greens. So we're pushing it with those blues. We got to be careful. So now, I think I have to roll. I don't think I'm allowed to rest because I'm not on a sleep track. So we're just going to go with three. We're just going to go with three so that we only have to roll one die. So let's see what we get here. Uh, yellow, blue, green. Well, oh, I can't put blue or green back. I'm only allowed to put the yellow back. I have to hope... At least the blue doesn't turn into an eye. I have to hope the green doesn't turn into an eye either. Uh, I don't want either of these to turn into eyes. That could be bad. Points would be nice. Oh, both points. Well, that was lucky. If the blue turned into an eye, we would have lost. If the green turned into an eye, we also would have lost since I have to take both of these. So green, green. And I think I solved this. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't solve this. I think we're about to lose regardless. Be because of how the last one set up. I was going to rest to get rid of either the green or the blue. But I'm also going to activate the yellow by taking the yellow. And if the yellow activates, I have to roll the five dice. The only way I can win this is if I roll the five dice and I get a yellow to activate. And I get at least one yellow on there. But then I can't get the greens or the blues off. I think I lose this regardless of what I do. Unless I get red eyes, I need reds. Oh, man. So we have to go with five. And I need to hope I get some reds. 
Gotta hope we get some reds. I also need to see if it's mandatory that I return stuff. That was six. Okay, five dice. We have two reds, two blues, two greens. I'm not allowed to put the blues or the greens back. Do I have to put dice back or am I allowed to not put any back? If I'm forced to put dice back, I have to put the two reds back. If I'm not, I can keep the reds, which is what I need because I need those reds to turn into eyes. Uh, randomly draw a number of dreams from the bag equal to the number under your sleep marker. Then select two dreams from the... Uh, then select two and return them to us. Then select two and return them. I don't have a choice. So I think that means we lose. I think that just means we lose. Well, that sucks. We are forced to put those back. We need to roll these. We got, we got the two eyes anyway. So we got one point. Both of these activate, causing us to lose, which is unfortunate. And then we also would have lost on the next ones anyway. So unfortunately we lose. Unfortunately we lose thanks to the, the nightmare of the depths and nightmare of Envy being active. Man, if we were just like one turn, or if we were able to roll those reds, if those reds turned into eyes, we could have moved. We could have moved a blue and a green. Oh, but they go onto the hunt track. Could we have won if we only moved one of them? No, we couldn't have. We, we, we would have lost anyway, because I have two dice on the hunt track. I think we were just in a bad situation, regardless of what we did. <laughs> uh, but that's that's that. That is uh, Lucidity Six-Sided Nightmare. So thank you guys for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I hope that the whole beginning part there wasn't blurry or hopefully at least not too blurry. Uh, I don't know why my phone wasn't focusing properly. It, uh, it focused on the, the card when I put it up towards it. So we, were, we weren't under the one-time zoom, which is usually when it stops focusing on things and just does a broader focus so hopefully it wasn't uh hopefully it wasn't too bad but yeah thank you very much for stopping by hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully i will see you next time if you have played lucidity six-sided nightmare either the multiplayer or the single player mode let me know what you think of it down in the comments below if watching this video has made you want to check out the game for yourself let me know that down below as well it's always interesting to see what kind of games people end up checking out based on the stuff that we take a look at on the channel here. If you are over on Instagram, you can follow me at the board games are for everybody Instagram page. We just post photos of games that we're playing as well as games that we pick up outside of the pickup videos that we do here. And that's all. That's it. So thank you guys for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I will see you all next time. But until then, just remember that board games are for everybody. And until then, peace.